Welcome to EMTPrep.com. This is the bag valve mask ventilation of an apneic patient skill. Before we get started, I would like to discuss some of the key points to ensure your success. The candidate must first take or verbalize appropriate body substance isolation precautions. Check responsiveness and breathing. And request additional EMS assistance. Checks a pulse for at least 5 seconds, but no more than 10 seconds, and opens the airway properly. Prepares a rigid suction catheter and turns on the power to the suction device or utilizes a manual suction device. Inserts the rigid suction catheter without applying suction. And suctions the mouth and oral pharynx. Opens the airway manually and inserts an oral pharyngeal airway. Ventilates the patient immediately using a bag valve mask device without attaching the oxygen. Rechecks the pulse for at least 5 seconds but no more than 10 seconds and attaches the bag valve mask assembly including the mask, the bag, and the reservoir and supplies oxygen to at least 15 liters per minute. Ventilates the patient adequately, providing proper volume to make the chest rise at a rate of 10 to 12 breaths per minute, but not to exceed 12 breaths per minute. Let's watch in real time as the candidate performs the necessary steps to bag valve mask ventilation of an apneic patient. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to provide immediate and aggressive ventilatory assistance to an apneic adult patient who has no other associated injuries. This is a non-trauma situation and cervical precautions are not necessary. You are required to demonstrate sequentially all procedures you would perform from simple maneuvers, suctioning, adjuncts, and ventilation with a BVM. You must actually ventilate the mannequin for at least one minute with each adjunct and procedure utilized. I will serve as your train assistant and will be interacting with you throughout this skill. I will correctly carry out your orders upon your direction. You may take this time to familiarize yourself with your equipment. BSI, is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. All right, so I'm gonna check my patient for responsiveness and for breathing. Sir, sir? The patient is unresponsive and apneic. All right, so I'm gonna request additional EMS resources and I'm gonna check for a pulse. Do I have a pulse? You palpate a weak carotid pulse at a rate of 64 beats per minute. Okay, uh, at this point I will open my patient's airway. The mouth is full of secretions and vomitus. All right, I'm going to suction the airway. I'm gonna prepare my suction catheter, turn my suction unit on, insert without suction applied, and then apply suction, sweeping the mouth as I come out. The mouth and oral pharynx are clear. All right, so now I'm gonna open the airway manually again, and I'm going to insert an OPA. Does the patient accept the OPA? No gag reflex is present. All right. Uh, now I will begin ventilating my patient with the BVM uh, at a rate of 10 to 12 breaths per minute. And I'm also going to recheck to see if I have a carotid pulse. Do I still have a carotid pulse? You still have a carotid pulse. Okay. And the breaths are going in without difficulty. All right. Uh, at this point, I will attach my BVM to high flow O2. Got that attached and turn my regulator on. And continue ventilating my patient. How would you know if you are delivering the appropriate volumes with each ventilation? Uh, I would look for equal uh, chest rise and fall and uh, an adequate amount of chest rise and fall. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, nope, that's it. Okay, thank you.